and welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer, although you may not be able to tell by the bed. We just haven't made that yet. I'm gonna clean everything. Today, we've got some really fun projects. I'm going to update some Alpha spaces in my home. If you don't know, Alpha is a modular shelving system that's exclusive to the container store in the United States. I recently picked up some pieces and parts. Sorry, my phone. I recently picked up some pieces and parts from the store and I would love to update and glam out my pantry because when I arrived, uh, the pantry had already alpha shelving installed and I, I, I think I just installed like one extra drawer and I've just been thinking it could be more glam. Now we've lived here for two years. This is just something that like I've worked up to in my mind. I'm just like, it's time to give her a little glow up. So I'm actually going to put an extra shelf in my closet, do the glow up for the pantry and change a couple of shelves in the coat closet because I'm using a shelf from the coat closet to do this glow up. So that hopefully is gonna be super easy. It's a really gloomy day today, so I hope I can get the video bright enough, but let's do it. I'm definitely gonna put on a podcast. I have been listening to this wonderful opera singer talk about singing for the past four hours this morning. I am inspired. So I'm gonna continue to listen to that and we're gonna do some projects. So let's get started, I'm excited. Actually first, let's make some coffee and then we'll get started. Making coffee is so necessary for these projects, I really have to say. So here is the way that my pantry looks right now. It does look really nice, but it's got these metal utility shelves from the container store that go with the alpha system and these hanging drawers, which were nice, but they could be a little bit nicer. Alpha does make some sort of luxury wood uh, lined well, wood veneer shelves and I really wanted to add some warmth into the space. It was looking a little too cold and clinical. On the side here is our the rest of our pantry collection and that is fabulous. Those are smaller utility shelves. It works super well so I wasn't going to do anything to that side but I did want to glam up that one side with the shelving. So I bought some pe uh, pieces and parts from the container store since I used to sell alpha closets for a living. I'm kind of an expert <laughs> if I may toot my own horn at what pieces I'm going to need and what pieces I'm not gonna need and what I can do. So I decided to switch it up and grab a decor shelf from the front hall closet because to be honest, those decor shelves, the solid shelves are pretty expensive. So I wanted to grab one that was just being used to have shoes on it. Like who needs that? I was gonna clean it, don't worry, I cleaned it. And I had been switching sort of between white and platinum. Uh, as I have been building the alpha closets in our home because I just used what we had even though the home came with alpha shelving. So I decided to be congruent and I bought one white alpha shelf <laughs> and I removed the platinum one and I decided to put that one in my bedroom closet. It looks so much better now, doesn't it? It's like so much less crowded. So here's my bedroom closet and there was a blank spot after I took another smaller shelf out in a previous video actually. That's where you can see that project because um, I just decluttered my closet for winter time and I decided that there would it would be perfect if I just had another shelf there. So I decided to put the 16 by two platinum shelf there to hold some of my accessories that I really just had no place for. It was mainly just buttons and things that went with clothes and my nail polish. Now I have been into painting my nails for the past like month because <laughs> normally I don't do anything to my nails, but for the past month, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of effort in, into painting my nails. So I have a little collection of nail polish and like nail accessories and I needed some place to put them before they were up on that top shelf and it was just too high. And so this is a really great place for them. I can grab the drawers when I need them and they fit perfectly. And it sort of brought together the look of the closet before it was looking just a little blank there and now it looks kind of boutique-y if that's a thing. Anyway, I love the way that that turned out. So now it was time for me to clean the previous shelf that was being used for shoes to be used in my pantry. So I made sure to give it a really good spit shine with some cleaner to make sure that the surface was clear of dirt and all that stuff since we were gonna be putting um, our food packages there and everything. But these shelves hold up so well. They're birch veneer. So they're not actually sh um, solid birch. 
So they've got a honeycomb interior. They're really, really light and strong. That's the thing that makes them so good. That also makes them incredibly expensive. So I just wanted to have to use what we, you know, had. We do have a white decor shelf here that was there when we moved. I will do something else with that. I haven't really decided what its job is going to be, but I do have other alpha spaces that it can be used in. I think I'm going to actually put it down in our lower level to give it another project there, but I had to clear everything and part of me was a little scared to do this because I had been using these utility shelves for so long and they're kind of the right depth. They're about 10 inches deep and they have a little lip in the front. They're kind of cute, but they are metal. They weren't really the vibe I was going for. And when I worked at the container store, I have to admit, I designed and sold these closets for close to eight years. And when I was working there, I would look at the catalogs and all the beautiful um, product pictures and I would see these beautiful birch and white pantries and I was obsessed. I thought they looked so beautiful. They even had little pant hangers for tablecloths and I just thought that was so luxurious looking and so warm looking, but I was like, I'm never going to spend that much money on my pantry. It just seemed like just exorbitantly expensive for a place where you just put your food. And the older I got and the more I sort of custom designed my own home, the more I kind of came around to the idea that it was kind of worth it. So I decided to finally do it. And you know, YOLO, you only live once. You might as well have the house you want if you can do it. So I had to take all the brackets off of the U-shaped channels here. Uh, when they, when I was working at the canister store, they told us to use a screwdriver to do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. The screwdriver does not work. Um, using a mallet while holding the bracket is the only thing that works. And Oddly enough, as I'm filming this, well, as I'm recording this voiceover, I do plan to do uh, an all about Alpha video this holiday season because uh, Alpha goes on sale every holiday season and I wanna make a whole like how to and, and video about everything I know about Alpha to help you make the best decisions during the Alpha sale. And that mallet method is the best way to get those U-shaped channels, which are part of any moving element off of the brackets. Otherwise, you're just gonna be frustrated. So little preview tip for that video that I will be filming. Um, and so now I have the nicer birch drawer front and I just wanna point out that there's a little, uh, little thing on the side what is a little what is what am i mean what do i mean there's a little little things that stick out on the side you want to make sure that the downward they they angle downward away from you when putting them on the brackets again i will be making an entirely separate video dedicated to everything i know about alpha so that when you go to the store and you order your custom closet it is you have the best possible experience so i wanted a place in my pantry to put paper towel I didn't have a place for the longest time. I was putting it downstairs. I was putting it on the stairway. I was putting it up above the fridge. I was getting frustrated by not having a place for paper towels. And I was like, you know what? We're just gonna get a dedicated drawer for paper towels. And besides, when I worked at the container store, I always saw that there was one drawer in the, the, um, the demonstration pantry that was full of paper towels. And I was like, that is so genius. I wanna do that. So I finally did. And now I feel like I'm living in my own catalog. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I have been installing these sh shelvings, shelvings. I have been installing this system so long that I pretty much have it down how many of the little holes have to be between the drawers when you install them. It's kind of scary, like kind of scary how good I've become at it after all of these years. But I'm glad that I have all that experience. I built Alpha in the store when I was working in merchandising. I also worked in merchandising as well as working in uh, closet design. And that was really fun because you got to pay a lot of attention to detail. And I was really shocked at how close it was when I opened the door. I mean, it was like a centimeter clearance. Oh my gosh, it was so close, but it was pretty, pretty perfect. And I couldn't move it anymore to the left because the top track actually cuts off. So. That wasn't, it, it wasn't the best initial installation. Um, so one day I might actually repair that. I was telling my husband, I'm like, it is super, super close, but it just clears, so <laughs> be okay with that. So after that, I decided to uh, install the actual shelves and there was actually rust on this bracket. And I was like, how 
did that happen because there's an epoxy coated steel but the rest came right off with a good scrub down so the thing I had to do that I was regretting doing was taking off of the I, I had to take off those bracket covers that cover the holes um, because it's really hard to take that off once you put it on but I employed the use of a butter knife and that made my my job so much easier and I actually didn't have liners that fit these shelves either so I cut some liners I already had that were already not in use they were in my basement just you know chilling so I cut them to fit the shelves and I decided that, that compost bin was going to be a problem oh my gosh it was in the way so I decided to actually move it to the other side we'll talk a little bit more about the compost bin later a compost bin again I did not install myself the previous owners did that we had just been using it and the compost bin actually it's a good place for the compost bin and we've been using it you know because we have compost picked up every week but it just wasn't a good place for it and you had to swing around every time to open it it just wasn't very convenient so having moved it was probably the best thing that happened in this entire um, transformation but uh, it was something that I didn't film it was just kind of irritating to have to you know get my drill out unscrew all the screws move the whole thing anyway here's how it looks now with the new shelving so much lighter so much brighter so much warmer I am obsessed it was worth all the money I spent on the new shelving so beautiful and the liner is there in case something spills or it's you know something happens you never know it's messy in a pantry and especially over the past six months i have been super dedicated there's the compost bin after i moved it i have been super dedicated to trying to eat more whole foods i love to keep my pantry staples full so that i always have something to work with so that i don't turn to junk food when i'm stressed out or in a bind um and one of the things that's been helping me on my journey is thrive market thrive market is on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone which makes me so happy they're an online membership based market which delivers the highest quality healthy and sustainable sustainable products at member only prices while matching every paid membership with a free membership for, to someone in need, which is amazing because I believe that real food and healthy food should be accessible to everyone. We all deserve the best nutritious food we can put in our bodies and, and non-toxic products to use in our homes. Thrive Market carries a curation of organic and non-GMO products, including pantry essentials, non-toxic cleaning products, clean beauty items, baby and bath products, and even pet stuff, and even biodynamic wine. Membership is available monthly or annually, and all of my, pa my favorite pantry staples are available on Thrive for way less than I could get at my local grocery store or anywhere else online, frankly. Thrive Market offers over 90 filters and values on the site, allowing members to shop for your own lifestyle and diet. So if you're vegan, if you're gluten-free, if you're paleo, if you're raw, if you're low FODMAP, or if you're like me, ketogenic, you can just press this filter and boom, you only see the things you need and that fit that category. So there's no fussing around on the site. Members can save an average of 30% on every order and receive fast, carbon-free, neutral shipping on orders over $49. If you want to try Thrive Market, and you should, you should visit the link in the description to get 30% off your first order and a free gift. Y'all know I love the free gifts. The free gifts are really good. I got my favorite sauces from Primal Kitchen, which I love. I love a good buffalo sauce. So visit the link below to get 30% off your first order from Thrive and get the highest quality, healthy and sustainable products at amazing prices. Now back to the video. So here I am living my best life, my life dream by putting a paper towel in the drawer and having it fit. I was so excited at the time. This was our only roll of paper towels. <laughs> I had to go to Target to get some more. And I was like, oh, I'd, when I was in the store picking up my order, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna pick up some drawer dividers because I had them in my hanging drawers. Now the hanging drawers are a different dimension than these decor drawers. And I picked up the wrong ones. The devastation, see I'm in denial. I'm like, this can't possibly work. Can this work? Can, can I divide the drawer this way? No, I got, yes, they're too big. Too, I got the wrong ones. I got the wrong ones. I was so mad and at myself because I was in the store and I was like, oh, I'll just get some drawer divider. No. So I have ones in my office closet that I'm going to use temporarily. I got to take back the ones that don't fit and get the right ones. But I'm going to use the ones from my office in the meantime because I had to just, you know, I had to get it done. But just know that there are two different size drawer organizers okay that's just, and once i had to not fit i felt real dumb 
Anyway, I decided to fill up my paper goods and sort of, I don't know, pantry essentials drawer? I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call that, but it had all the, the foil and the plastic wrap. And actually my um, air sealer, what, am I, what is the word I'm looking for? A vacuum sealer machine and the bags in there too. I had, that was like my fun, my most fun drawer in the pantry and it has the compost bags and everything. So like non-food things. And then I decided I didn't need another shallow drawer because I had two shallow drawers in my original solution. And I was like, what am I using that shallow drawer for? Garlic? No way, I'll just use a bowl. <laughs> and so I put all my onions and garlic in a bowl together and I decided that that was, that was what I was gonna do. So I enjoyed at this point putting everything back. There's something so satisfying about doing that. And I have a collection of microfabric cloths that we use to clean counters and other things. And then since I had moved the vacuum from the entryway to the kitchen, I had all the vacuum accessories and I bought one of those viral TikTok spin brush cleaners. So I have that that lives there. I will be doing a review on it later, but just know, just preview, just know that it's fun to use. It's fun. I have fun using it. It's fun to clean the shower with, it's fun. Anyway, I also had my towels for drying dishes, drying your hands there as well. And I do change them out seasonally. So I do have some fall ones. I've got some Christmas ones. It's actually time to get the Christmas ones out. I'm so excited about that. The ones I have that are Christmas came from Anthropology, I believe. And they're the 12 days of Christmas towels. So I have 12 of them. They're so adorable. They're just really cute and I love them. And they make me happy. <laughs> do any of you have seasonal dish towels? I know, I feel like that's really common, but I just want to know if you all have seasonal dish towels. Just tell me. Tell me in the comment below. Anyway, this drawer was strictly for nuts, seeds, and other little snacks. Now, I don't snack, snack much anymore. I mean, occasionally I will like grab a, a handful of peanuts and, you know, and call it a day. But usually I don't snack but I do have I do need a place for my nuts for making the granolas making the, the crackers all that stuff so that is where they live and that's where they lived the last time and I find that it's so much easier to find things that don't stack when they're contained in a drawer if things do not stack if they're in a bag do not put them on a shelf and expect to find everything it's chaos always use a bin or a drawer you'll be so much happier to contain those things so if something does not stack if it doesn't come in a box drawer container whatever you can see I'm still shocked about how little space there is between the door and the edge of the drawers I am absolutely shocked so here's me just neatening up these drawers a little I just wanted everything to be not perfect but pretty good. I never want anything to be perfect in my home. I just want it to be pretty good. So here I am putting back the Yamazaki baskets. We've got our hot pot basket full of our hot pot broth, our uh, Sichuan peppers, <laughs> everything that we need for hot pot little like noodles that we like to have during hot pot. We've got clover stuff all ready to go. He is doing well, by the way. You guys saw him in the Thrive Market segment. He is doing really, really great. And I just loved putting everything back and neatening up a little bit. I do have a shelf that is, I guess, grain free flowers just for me. I'm the only one um, who's not eating grain anymore. My husband is still eating grains and stuff like that. So I wanted to keep everything just in case he wanted to have oats or flour or something like that. So, um, I've got a shelf for, for my needs and he's got a shelf for his needs and it's totally fine. Um, but I love having space to see everything and having a liner there. So just in case I need to clean it or if something really tragic happens, I can just replace the liner and it's not gonna spill onto the shelf below, which is also really great. So now that like, I don't know, you have to worry about like greens and stuff spilling and causing a whole tragedy but you know what I mean <laughs> you know what I mean so I put the onions again and the garlic in a bowl and called it a day I'm like I had this bowl here just chilling why not just put it there ironic that I put it there next to clover stuff because he can't have onions and garlic but I mean he's not like he's not getting on a ladder and eating it so <laughs> it's just a place to be stored while we're cooking and preparing stuff so this was just the finishing touches putting on bracket covers bracket covers are like the most small detail in your alpha space, but they make the biggest impact, I feel like, in terms of making it look finished and beautiful. And I put on standard covers just to cover the holes to make it look a little more finished and refined. And I love the way that it turned out.
enjoyed this video and it inspired you to maybe neaten up your pantry or even redo it. Hey, it, you know what? YOLO, you only live once. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.